You know, you know, I want we we've talked about this. You're the you got the ten team theory, right? Is that your? No, no, no. That's I, your. Uh, you're talking about expansion of the conference or expansion of the playoff? And the playoff. And we're not going to see expansion before the TV deal ends. Right, but but I'm, I'm saying you have don't you have a is yours the ten team? Is that the one that you're for? No, I've, I want I want sixteen. Oh yeah, me too. That's what I know. I feel like it's it's a it's a pipe dream, but yeah, that would be the ideal thing to me. As I want to see every conference get a shot, even if you know. I hate the idea that people say, "Well, you know, no one the Sun Belt team, the best team in the Sun Belt, is not going to win the national championship." Yeah, you're probably right, but at least give them the shot. You know, let them go out there and suit up and and play football against somebody for a chance. I mean, they're in the same, we're all in the NCAA together, right? That's why it's here. Uh, let's, let's give conference champions their due. Nah, man, we're all in the NCAA to make money and the folks making the yes. most money don't want to share. Man, why you got to be a realist? I was being all idealist. It's trying to feel good. It's what I, it's what I do. It's, 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 it's who I am. The sky is falling. <laughs> it's falling. I know. Uh, Mayberry, is there something you wanted to get to that we didn't get to? Oh, uh, we could talk. Uh, we got like what, like ten minutes left. We could talk a little Tulsa if you want. Ooh, the the Tulsa segment. All right. Yeah, uh, I know. I know people are. Riveted. I was about to say we're we're at 145 people are watching this. We want to see what the numbers are in ten minutes. <laughs> all right. We don't. Ha- I mean, we we don't have to. We could talk something else. Well, I just. All right. Look, I don't have good things to say about Tulsa. Right. <laughs> no, I feel you. No, I mean, I'm not. I'm not even like trying to get on the recruiting right now. I'm like. Zach Smith ain't it. He threw for more yards than Justin Fields last year. <laughs> Come on, think about that. He threw for more yards than a dude that played in the playoff, that won the Big Ten championship, and was a Heisman finalist. He also got sacked more than like anyone in the world last year. I don't know that that's a real stat, but it seemed like it. Well, okay. Uh, uh, you got a new offensive line coach uh, coming from Oklahoma. Yeah, we did. They new, new, new offensive line coach, and, and the offensive line was very young last year. A lot of experience coming back. Hopefully, they can sure up some holes. Uh, didn't really lose much. That's the weird thing about this Tulsa team, man. Is it's sneaky because they they return pretty much everyone. They desperately need playmakers at the receiver position. They did not had anyone step up and take the reins besides maybe Keelan Stokes, and I still contend that. Basically, I think he's a one-trick pony version of his his brother. I think that he is more of a speed guy. He's not as polished a receiver, and it shows. He doesn't go up and get the football and convert first downs, which I think Keevan Lucas did on the regular. Um, but when I look at this team, I, I think it's it's weird because, like I said, they really returned pretty much everyone on the offense. Now, they lost some key points. Obviously, there's two dudes making hay at the combine on this team, Travis Gibson and uh, Reggie Robinson. Both did really well at the Combine. Uh, Both are going to get a look in the league for sure. Probably both get drafted. Um, But they return a bunch of guys on this defense too. I mean, we've talked about Allie Green before a lot. I think he may have been the better of the corner tandem at Tulsa, and they were both really good. They both looked really good. And you go watch the tape of this team, and it's always been a team over the last two years that was just a hair away from winning some games that would have been – legit now it's also a team that's gotten run out by some people that they had no business getting run out by and and i think that's that's where you start to look at things the bigger picture but i I honestly it's a team that as i'm looking at it and i look you know we talk about the recruiting class and it's it's a sad day when you look at your recruiting class and your best players coming in are juco guys exclusively because you didn't really sign a lot but they did sign one receiver jalen paxton out of houston who uh, is a guy that could see the field because they desperately need a playmaker. Like I said, they need someone to step up. They did sign a tight end, which is a little alarming to me because they never seem to throw the ball to tight ends anymore, and I don't understand why. Uh, they brought in a Juco tight end last year that's a giant, uh, six foot seven dude, uh, Denzel, I can't remember his last name. He came from like Mississippi Junior College. Uh, he looked good in the few catches he had, but he only had like two catches and they never threw the ball to him ever again. And I don't understand why you don't utilize tight ends more in this offense. Um, sorry. I feel like I've been soapboxing. Hey, look, uh, you're going to, you carried the Tulsa segment. Like I said, (laughs) uh, you don't have anything in the middle. I mean, you got Zayvon Collins in, in parts. You return some safeties, uh, that I kind of sort of like if they stay healthy, 
I yeah. understand what you mean by Allie Green, but Reggie Robinson outplayed Allie Green last year. He but, did, but he also got more opportunity to outplay Allie Green because Allie Green didn't get thrown at as much. And I do, I do think if you watch the tape, Reggie got a lot of opportunity because people were targeting him. And he, he, I, and listen, he, I like both those guys. I think he really maximized it and he came out and played well. But uh, I still think Allie has going to have a chance. I mean, he's a bigger guy. He's probably, I would imagine he gets moved to safety at some point at the next level. I think he'll get a shot and I think he'll probably end up playing safety. Fix the hole left by Travis Gibson at end. Fix the hole left by Cooper Edmondson at linebacker because you haven't. Then then we can have a conversation about these things. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, all right. Catch Mayberry and I on the animal, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. There's streaming. It streams live, sportsanimalradio.com, where you can see it. Uh, we're going to have a good time. There's lots of sports to talk about. And, hey, man, I put together this bracket that has people pissed. And I'm here for it. Uh, I'm sure Mayberry will have some things to say about that. Spencer, thanks for taking like an hour just to talk sports with me. I know that we all very much enjoy talking sports and – I'm in this vein. By the way, we only lost 14 people with talking Tulsa. Look at that. Yeah. No. I appreciate it. No, pretty Those of you that stuck around. Right on. Uh, follow Mayberry at Spence in Stereo on the Twitter. That is at Spence in Stereo. I will drop a link to his Twitter profile in the description below. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will catch y'all tomorrow. Deuces.